Hey everybody, today I'm going to be helping you to get Pyrol. Um, it's pain in the ass to get sometimes, but this route I'm going to show you is a route that I run a lot, and I usually get a lot of Pyrol, usually about like anywhere from 25 to 40 pieces. So hopefully this will help you out. Alright, so... When you get here, you basically just want to go to the left, because that's where most of it really is, because, like, this run just has a bunch of it. I mean, normally I run this run and I get a lot. We're going to see how I do today. Um, I'm just basically showing you this because I want to help you out wherever I can. I'm probably not the only person to ever discover this. I can guarantee you I'm not. But, alright. And by the way, please don't critique the way I cut out. Like, I suck at cutting. Alright, there's some right there. So basically, you're going to be looking for the red veins. Um, the red veins have your materials for crafting and such. And the blue veins have your gems that you can turn into Old Man Soombot for standing. So, let's see. Alright, there's a red one. Hopefully, hopefully I get some more here. But yeah, another thing that really ticks me off is like, the line disappears halfway through when you're cutting. And... I really don't understand that. I mean, that's kind of dumb because, like, how good you follow that line is, like, how much it yields for whatever you're going to get. So when that line disappears, it's kind of like, well, shit. My tracing just disappeared. Hopefully that D like, fixed that update or something. Oh! That is actually a gemstone I do not normally get. Sweet. Anyway. Alright, so when you get down here, you're going to want to clear out these fucking Grenier because they are a pain in the dick. Like, they will just fuck up your shit, fuck up your day. Alright. I will I can get this really quick. I'll piss off. And, ah, oh, damn it, it's Pharos. Alright, let me just clear these out and I'll get back to the matter at hand. But yeah, that's a, that's another thing too in the Plains of Eidolon. I don't know about you, but like pretty much when I'm just trying to like cut out gems and everything, or or materials, or trying to fish, like you can just never have peace. Like the Grenier always just decide to come in at the wrong place, at the wrong time, and it's really annoying too that like when one sees you, they deploy that freaking bird thing, and then like a big fucking ship comes down, and you're like, well, fuck. Now I gotta take care of this shit. Alright. Back to the matter at hand. Let's see if we can find some more of this stuff. Now, on your way up, you're gonna wanna stay close to this blue wall up here because you just wanna, like, basically, like, get all the veins you can, like, closest to the wall. Because basically what you're gonna do is just, like, make a giant loop. Like, on the way up, stay close to the blue wall there so that, uh, you can just, like, get whatever your cutter picks up um, and then on your way back, you're going to want to stay farther away from the wall and see what you can find there. And then when you get back to the gate, pretty much just rinse and repeat. Just go in so you can collect everything you got and then just go right back out the gate and just do this all over again. That's basically all you got to do to farm this stuff. Like this run I'm doing right here, I normally do better than what I'm doing right now. Like I'm normally bringing in about like almost 40 pyrol. Like not every time I do this, but like... Maybe two out of five times I get like 40 and then maybe like the other two times I I got like 25 or something I usually do way better than this But yeah, this is basically where your run is going to end when you get to the ocean right here This is basically when you want to start going back the way you came and uh, Just see what you can pick up there Let's see where where is this at? Where the hell is it telling me to go? Where, where is it at? Oh, I guess it's up here. That's another thing, too. This thing is, like... The beeping's really handy, but, like, sometimes it can just be, like, misleading. And if you never used this thing before, basically, on the right, it's gonna tell you how many meters away you are from the material you're trying to cut out. And how many... And on the left, it's gonna tell you how many of the materials are in the, in the area. So, basically, you just wanna follow the beeping. Like, when it starts to beep, you just, like, keep, like, running around in circles so you find the direction it wants to go, because it'll start to get weaker when you point your crosshairs away from the substance. And when you point it back towards it, it's going to beep faster again. 
And I really hate these things. These little Eidolon things, yeah, they suck. But anyway, let's see. Hopefully this is Pyro. Hopefully I'm doing a little bit better on the way back. Come on. Awesome, yeah. All right. So yeah, you just want to basically just kind of just go about this far out on your way back. Just so you can see if there was a vein there that your uh, that your scanner didn't pick up. And even though that you find a lot of blue, you do want to cut these out too, because like I said, you can turn in all of them to Old Man Zumba for standing. So anything that's going to help you with standing, you want to grab. There we go. Sometimes I really hate this thing. <laughs> and let's see. Damn it. Yeah, I usually I get that or Pharos a lot. It's it's really fucking annoying. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm sorry I may not have gotten as much pyro as you hoped in this video, but trust me, this is a this is a good place to find it. And well, let's just see what I get here. Hopefully it's good. Come on. And there we go. All right, anyway, I hope you guys like this video. Please subscribe and like that like button if you did and don't if you didn't. And uh, thanks very much for watching and I'll catch you next time.